A few months ago, I shared a video showing how you can use an iPad as a teleprompter screen. And if you want a little bit more context about why this is an awesome thing to do, you can watch the original video right here. Now, one of the challenges we needed to overcome when doing this is to flip the display so it shows up properly when it's reflected back to you in the teleprompter. And in order to do this, we used a tool called Better Display. Now, since then, Better Display has been updated to 2.0, and now Better Display is even better at helping you manage your displays better, 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 you get the gimmick. But judging by some comments I've received, it appears they have made some changes to the interface and the way that you get things set up. So I'm going to update Better Display on my computer and update my walkthrough. So let's get started by downloading Better Display from betterdisplay.pro. That just forwards us to this GitHub page and you can click here to download the app for Mac OS. I already did this so I'm not going to install it again but you just do this how you normally would install any other piece of software on your Mac. You open up the installer, drag it into your applications folder and voila. Let's launch it now from the launch pad. There's better display. And it's not gonna open up a full-blown application. It just has this little icon up here in the toolbar. You click that and you can see we have settings for our main screen. We can control the brightness now and there's a few other things. Uh, but let's click this gear icon. And now we have some more settings. So here's our main display, the LG 4K monitor. Let's click back to overview. There's a few other settings. You can set this to automatically launch on login, check for updates. You can show or hide the icon in the menu bar and activate your pro license, which you will need if you want to use the mirror flip setting and access other advanced features. You can try it out free for 14 days, and then it's just $15, I believe, for a pro license, which I think is well worth the cost and a lot more affordable than buying a full blown teleprompter rig with a dedicated monitor. So let's click back up to displays and under overview we are going to create a virtual screen. This is one of the first changes that I noticed from the old version we call these dummy displays which is just downright insulting. Your display is smart. No need for name calling. Uh, we're going to create a new virtual screen and here we're just going to use the pre-configured settings and I am going to be using my iPad Air. Now, just for clarification, these are just aspect ratios. Uh, if you don't see your specific iPad model listed here, no worries. It's just the size and shape of the screen. You can set a custom aspect ratio. In fact, we're going to tweak this a little bit uh, later on. So go ahead, click Create Virtual Screen. And now we're going to pause on Better Display and make sure Sidecar is running. Now, assuming you have a compatible computer and iPad and they're on the same Wi-Fi network, all you need to do to get Sidecar working is click up here, click Screen Mirroring, Let's click David's iPad. And while we're here, let's click display settings. I don't see the dummy display here. I'm sorry, the virtual screen here. So let's go back to better display and toggle on connect this virtual screen. Now under our display settings, we see David's Mac mini teleprompter. Let's click arrange and bring that over to the right because my teleprompter is to the right of my screen and we're going to drag the iPad to the right of that. We want the virtual screen to come before the iPad screen. Click done and back in the settings. Under associated displays, let's toggle sidecar display. And what that should do is automatically launch and pin the virtual display to the iPad anytime the sidecar display is available. I think we're done on this window here, so we'll close that and we'll move over. So we're going to click the drop down menu, and here we can see settings for our main LG monitor, the sidecar display, and the teleprompter. We're going to click this little arrow to expand the different settings. We're going to go down to stream virtual screen. We're not going to mirror the virtual screen. There's a different set of settings available. So we're going to click here and click 
sidecar display. That starts pushing the virtual screen to our sidecar, and we're going to go down to flip. So everything now is mirror reversed. Now, one more thing, let's finesse the resolution. So let's close the stream settings, and here we have brightness, and here we can drag the resolution. Let's actually lower the resolution down to maybe 75%, so everything on the iPad looks a little bit bigger. It's more readable from the distance where I'm sitting and for the size of the screen. So there you go. You should now have a mirror flipped iPad that is now bouncing back at you from your teleprompter setup. So you can read scripts or I like using it for video calls and I can look the other person in the eye instead of off to the side on your webcam and looking all dodgy. Or you could just use it as a secondary display and actually read it. It's not backwards in the mirror. It's a really helpful setup. I will say though, and this isn't a knock on better display, it's actually a problem with sidecar. It's not always the most consistent and stable connection. Sometimes I'll have dropouts and I'll need to relaunch sidecar and get that all set up. So if you need a rock solid, consistent connection, then maybe check out getting a small dedicated monitor to set up with your teleprompter and hardwire. Or if you know you want a teleprompter as part of your setup and you're willing to invest a little bit more money and instead of just using what you already have at your disposal, check out Elgato's new offering. They just launched a new turnkey teleprompter solution that looks really slick. I'm honestly a little tempted, but I already have this. This is working for me. I don't need to spend more money, but if you want to spend more money, definitely take a look at that. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope this helped answer any questions to people who watched the other video and saw some things were different with the new version. You're back on track. What? Why did that happen? You're back on track? All right, apparently I just discovered a little Easter egg baked into OBS. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>